The sophisticated battle continues throughout Canada and especially right here on Rue Saint-Denis in Montreal. On this side is a group that calls for a boycotting a shop because the shop is selling Israeli shoes. It's called Naot. And on this side are Montrealers, not all of them Jewish, who are against the boycotters because they say the action is trying to put a Jewish shop out of business and is fundamentally anti-Semitic. These activists have consistently given up every Saturday morning for more than a year and a half. This is their big test case. If they shut down this shop, they believe they can shut down any store that does business with Israel. Natasha Lissos is the owner of the Naot shoe store. The tactic to me is a form of economic terrorism as it is so disruptive to people's lives. I feel that this is anti-Semitism in its true form. Um, if you go back to Nazi Germany, the flyers that are being distributed here, it is basically about businesses shutting down and they shut down many Jewish businesses. So I no, it's not a new form of anti-Semitism. It's been there. No, it's not anti-Semitic. It has nothing to do with religion. This is all about people's basic human rights being violated on a massive scale, about crimes against humanity being committed by an occupying force. It's not about religion at all. For the past several months, a group of ordinary Quebecers gather here even earlier Saturday morning to protect Natasha's store from the boycotters. I don't accept that in my society a group of bullies uh, could uh, harass, intimidate stores, store owners, uh, uh, prevent clients from uh, going inside the store for political reasons or any kind of reasons. I think it is unacceptable. I just want to show my solidarity with this uh, shop owner because uh, what uh, these other guys are doing to him uh, is unspeakable, that's indecent. This guy is uh, doing his best to earn his, uh, to make a living in a decent way and they are preventing him from doing so.